Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So today's video is going to be on this wig. This wig is by Ashi Marie Hair and this is their 10 by 6 HD straight. I love that there's different like closure sizes that you can get or frontal sizes. This is a 10 by 6, almost like a 13 by 6 but not quite. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I lay it. Honestly, it was quite quick. This came pre-plucked, pre-cut and pre-bleached. So all I have to do is literally just straighten the hair and just lay it down. It's obviously 10 by 6, 6 going back. You can part it anywhere and you get a lot of parting space, which is pretty good. Just thought I'd show you that. It is supposed to be one glueless, but I'll show you exactly how this wig was constructed and show you why I used what I used. So I'm going to go straight into it real quick and easy. Nothing too, not too much chit chat. The hair feels absolutely lovely. Honestly, I was gonna dye it jet black, but I felt like for the autumn winter season, this color is just more softer. It's not as harsh as a jet black. I love my jet black hair, by the way, but I feel like, you know, we're going more towards like the warm tones. So that's why I'm gonna keep it as this, the natural color. So yeah, 26 inches. 250% density. I don't usually wear my hair straight, but if I do, it has to be super full. So. I will probably, yeah, most likely add like an extra bundle or two, like at the bottom. But let's get straight into the video. So this is the wig on my head. As you can see, it is pre-cut. So it's a six by 10 or 10 by six. But I have noticed on one side, you know, it kind of covers my hairline. But on this side, it, it doesn't. So I'm gonna have to like put a little bit of spray just to secure you know, this, this section, I'm gonna tint the lace just so that it's like blends in. As you can see, it pretty much like melts, pretty much melts in. Okay, so yeah, it looks like this. I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see, it pretty much melts into my scalp. Lace did come pre plucked. Which, yeah, usually I'd still have to like go over it, but I've not had to pluck anything myself. I'm just gonna straighten it while I wait for the hairline to set.
let's just get rid of the flyaways. This is the hair, just to show you the length. I would definitely want to add some more layers. I haven't had a straight, I haven't done a straight wig. Have I done one this year? I don't even know. I haven't done a straight wig in a while, so this is it. And I was like considering, do I dye this jet black? But I think for the autumn season, I kind of like this off black, you know, color instead. So that is it. For this video really quick and easy again I love the fact that everything was pre-done for you pre-plucked pre-bleached so I didn't have to do any of that unpopular opinion but I feel like when it comes to pre-cut wigs I kind of prefer it not pre-cut only because sometimes obviously everyone's hairline is different I might want to have more you know more lace more forward but sometimes they cut it too much so like I prefer to customize my own, like my own frontals and I'd rather have too much than not enough if that makes sense so I don't know sometimes it works for some companies but I have found with other, like other companies that they've either cut the lace way too far back than my natural hairline and I want to have my some lace you know forward so yeah that's my little thing I don't know let me know what you think if you don't know how to cut lace and stuff like that customize your hairline then it might be difficult for you you might probably benefit more from pre-cut wigs but for me i've been doing this over so many years so if it's customized that's fine but i'd much rather cut the lace off myself so that's it for the video i'm going to put everything down below as per usual real quick and very simple let me know what you think if you're going to be trying out this hair thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys